So now we need to find a book. Let's get rid of this first. Uh, we can talk to her. Oh, let's look at the paper stack. Stacks of blank paper. I don't need any right now. But it's nice to know Oxford is generous with office supplies. Yeah, I agree. Hey. I think the videos will be coming a little bit shorter Hi. this time. This How may I be of service? But, but, that's okay. Uh, Oxford's professors. Why am I asking about the Oxford's professors? Where can I find information about the professors here at Oxford? Ah, that depends. To whom do you refer? Dr. David Stiles, Neurobiology. Oh, hmm. right. Start with the library catalog. You can access it on the computers over there. Okay. Thank you, little lady. Let's look at her. I don't have anything to ask her about right now. I wanted to look at her. God damn you, Sam. Okay, time to search for porn. Oh, I don't think you can on this search engine. <laughs> uh, ooh, we got some... Uh, oh my god, lots of reading. Be prepared. November 1996. Uh, from the London Times. Royalty and other distinguished gentlemen. The big event of the past weekend was the... Egerton Soiree, an annual event not to be missed by the rich and fabulous. <laughs> rich and fabulous? Uh, the star of the evening was to be Prince Charles, who arrived at the party solo. He seemed to be quite enjoying his newly divorced status. But in truth, all of the single dames were not lining up to meet the Prince of Wales, but the Prince of Oxford, Dr. S David Stiles, wait, he was a prince? Probably just a, but a nickname. Prince Charles, that's the guy with the ears, right? I, I don't really remember, but I think it was the guy with the ears who used to be married to, um, to Diana. Um, as if being devastatingly handsome, well, not anymore, and the Skion, Scion? I don't know, of a wealthy family weren't enough. He's a shooting star at the university. He's become a well-known figure thanks to his popular articles and TV appearances, doing for neurobiology what Stephen Hawking did for physics. Ooh, This reporter can't help but wonder uh, how he'll find time to fit his lectures with all the party invitation news he's re been receiving. Okay. May 1997. That's the article I got from David's filing cabinet. Extraordinary powers of the ordinary mind is not available. I have that one. Okay. Uh, May 5th, 1997. Spring is for lo for lovers. Romance is a hot topic in the spring. In the spring, all creatures, great and small, get that loving look in their eyes and pair off to do what comes naturally: hump like bunnies. Uh, Frederica Friedmund and Jeremy Stanton were seen canoodling, really canoodling, uh, over drink. <laughs> really? In a newspaper, in the London Times, they're using a word like canoodling? I don't know. Over drinks at a posh London nightclub. Actress Mary Laurel and businessman Dominique Durst, I don't know any of these names, were outed when they were caught red-handed in Hyde Park. Uh, but the biggest it couple this spring has to be Dr. David Stiles, the Oxford neurobiologist, who has been considered the bachelor of the season, and his new flame, Laura Edmondthorb. That's a weird name. The beautiful daughter of Lord Edmondthorp. The pair has been seen inseparable has been sorry inseparable since meeting at a new year's eve celebration and they don't seem to care who knows it ah young love why should they care who knows it 18th of may 1997 um that's my mom's birthday well not 1997 but 18th of may um, Styles Hopkins tops in st 
Styles, Hopkins, Tops, and Student Poll. This year's, oh, this is from the Oxford Student. This is the local newspaper, I guess. The, the university p paper. This year's Oxstu Students' Choice Poll ranked Christchurch and Queen's at the f as the favorite colleges among Oxford students. Favorite local restaurant went to Stew Pot on St. Giles, we have to go there. Fitzgerald's won for best Oxford pub. Is that the one we went to? I don't know. No, that, hit, that was the Hungry Bear or Thirsty Bear, I can't remember. Um, smoking the nearest competitor by 10 to 1. Wow, that's a, a lot. Among professors, Felix Hopkins, who teaches medieval history at Queen's, and David Stiles of the Radcliffe Neurobiology Department drew this year's top honors. A favorite part of Hopkins' crusades, uh, crusades uh, lectures is a battle reenactment in Christchurch Meadows. Oh, I was looking at that earlier in the game, which has become a great hurrah for participants and spectators alike. Style is a fave thanks to his fresh and exciting approach to the study of the mind and human potential. Okay, August 1998. Fairy tale weddings. August weddings were bigger and bolder than ever this year. The Marquis, the Shalford, and her American husband, Frank Lovett, Lovitz overflowed Winchester Cathedral with white roses and created quite a spectacle for their 300 plus guests. Garish? It's all a matter of taste, da t taste, darling, darling, and money. That's a weird way of writing an article. Huh. When it comes to understated elegance, nothing topped the union of Laura. Edmund Thorpe and Dr. David Stiles in Westminster Abbey. The bride was a radiant blonde beauty uh, in a plain white satin sheath, all the better to create nail-biting envy over her long and lean figure. David Stiles created quite a contrast with his striking dark looks and black tux. Two white horses pulled their carriage off into the sunset and no doubt into a perfect future okay and then we skip four years ahead 23rd Oct October of October 2002 oh <gasps> car accident oh shit Dr. David Stiles and his wife Laura Edmonthorpe Stiles left a fundraising dinner in Oxford last evening and were driving home when when their car was hit broadside. Oh, that's sad. According to eyewitnesses, the second vehicle was hurtling down a crossroad at a tremendous speed. It ran a give way sign and plunged into... Laura Stiles was pronounced dead on the scene and David Stiles was rushed... Wait, what? Samantha, please. They're not coming home. Oh, yeah, she lost her parents, too. Come on, kid, time to go. Oh, well, she lost her parents. Not two. I mean. Whew. Well, this is a bit much. Oh. Whoa, oh shit. A uh, car accident claimed the li life of prominent socialite. Dr. S uh, David Style and his wife, Laura Edmund Thorpe Stiles, left a fundraising dinner in Oxford last evening and were driving home when their Bentley was hit broadside at a junction. According to eyewitnesses, the second vehicle was hurtling down the road at tremendous speed. It plunged into the Stiles' vehicle as it was going through the junction. David Stiles, who was at the wheel, was thrown from the car on impact. Laura Stiles was trapped in her seat as the car was consumed in flames. Laura Stiles was pronounced dead at the scene and David Stiles was rushed 
to the ac uh, to the accident and emergency emergency facility at John Radcliffe Hospital, where he is reported to be in stable condition. Search no. Okay, so is that all? Okay, so he lost his wife in a car accident, uh, but it wasn't his fault. I wonder if they caught the guy, or if the guy who, I don't know, let's, uh, can I talk to, no, I guess that's pretty much all, let's look Thank at. Thank God Helena is the vainest creature on the planet, <laughs> that's all I've got to say. Yeah, me too. Let's see, is that all here? Yeah, it is. Oh. Wasn't I supposed to meet them back at the St. Edmund Hall at noon? Maybe that's in Chapter 3, I don't know. Let's say, uh, th it seems that the only place left to go is actually here. So, let's do that. I like that it shows me where there's something, where I've, I've done everything. So, this is a lovely house. Not as lovely as the one in Phantasmagoria. But a really lovely house still. Let's uh, go inside. Oh, it is the moon. Okay, oh, sorry. That's beautiful. Huh. Oh, is she not there yet? No, I wasn't looking at the screen. I was looking out my window. Uh. Answer it. Hello. Dreadhill House. This is Sam speaking. Oh, um. No, that's okay. You don't need to send anyone else over. Dr. Stiles no longer needs an assistant. <laughs> I mean, he's already hired someone else. No, uh. not a student. Um, it turned out a family member was available. A niece. So you can just close out that request. Yeah. Yes, I am sure. All right? Thank you. I am so going to get busted. Mrs. Dalton might have answered that. God, I really should fess up. I can't. They'd hit the eject button in ten seconds flat better give it some more time and show what I can do. Yeah. I was uh, lucky that she actually was the one uh, answering that. Let's head into the kitchen and see if Mrs. Dalton has anything interesting to say. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Ah, oh, she's making food. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm uh, I need some. Uh, I'm going to cook some spaghetti bolognese tonight. Well, I'm not uh, really spaghetti bolognese. It's some it's, uh, some spaghetti with some uh, pasta sauce with some meat and stuff like that. It's good. It's, I think it's going to be good. And also, by the way, when I'm talking about the food I'm having, it was last Saturday. Just so you know. Not that it's actually important at all. Anyway, the accident. I... I just found out what happened to Laura. Everyone knows about the tragedy. Well, I'm new to Oxford, and I didn't know. I'm really sorry. You didn't ask him, did you? I hope to heaven, Samantha, that you weren't asking him painful no, questions. No no no, 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 no. No, no. Oh, don't. Poor man doesn't need to be reminded. Not that he isn't every day of his blinking life. He can't stand people talking about it. That's why he won't let anyone come over here. But this house is full of reminders. Laura's pictures are everywhere. Even that calendar is still set to 2002. He won't let me change any of it. Hmm. I get it. He wants to be reminded of her, for his own self. But he can't bear to hear other people talk about it, because there's no way they can possibly understand. And anything they say just seems idiotic. Maybe that's right, I don't know. In any case, I thank you to avoid the subject with him completely. Yeah. Doesn't okay. he have enough troubles on his mind already? Oh, was that, was, was that it? Well, thanks for the talk, Mrs. Dalton. I'll be leaving now. Huh. Let's go down to the basement again. See if anything interesting is happening down there. According to the map, let's actually look again. Yeah, still, according to the map, the only thing left to do is here. So, 
well, not necessarily here in the lab, but in the house. Maybe we'll actually get to talk to the professor. We haven't really had much of a talk with him. Oh, maybe he's in his study. He's not here. So... So yeah, maybe he's in his study. I can't remember where that was. I think it was... It's probably upstairs. Let's uh, just skip that whole walking scene. Uh, hmm. What's this? Parlor. Oh, wait, was it here? I think this is where uh, the office was. Ah, well, we haven't actually been to the office. Let's see if we can get in there now. There's a skeleton. It's locked. Oh, try knocking. Okay. I guess we could try going upstairs to our room. Maybe take a nap. Maybe that's... <laughs> Stairs hall. I like the chandelier. It's pretty cool. So where's our room? Sam's bedroom. Spare room. Yeah, let's go take a nap. Maybe he's in here looking through our stuff. No. A bunny! He sure is digging this room. He looks happy. Yeah. I put up with an awful lot to keep that bed. I'm so over sleeping on the ground or in cars. Hmm, me too. Okay, so no nap time for Samantha. So the only place left to check is the dining room, at least indoors. Who knows, maybe we need to go out back. But let's try the dining room, see if... No? Okay. I don't think there's anything. I, I could go around checking if to see if any of the stuff can be manipulated or interacted with, but why would it change? I don't see a reason for it, there to be any change. So, I guess we'll head out back. Oh, maybe I should run. Maybe he's out here or something out here. No? I guess we could go into the garage. Have you been to the garage? Ooh. Whoa. That's my motorcycle. I don't recall being The here. bike will have to wait until I've got a bit more cash. <gasps> Is that the Bentley? Well, it probably isn't. It would be kind of... I think that's a Bentley under there. Nice. But wait, didn't he crash the Bentley? Well, I guess there's more than one Bentley. Ah, uh, paintings. Probably of Laura. But he already... I guess I guess he already he left them up, so why would there be more out here? These look old. And a bit moldy. How can you tell? These look old. Is there anything else? Can I take the ladder? These look old. Do I have anything I can interact with? I can give the flowers to Miss Dalton. Wait, she said she knew where she would put the flowers. Where? Okay, running laps around the car. She said I know where to place these. I don't. Can we not enter the tower? Is that a troll? Cool tower. I wonder what it was used for. Uh, prison, maybe? Is that a troll? I like that statue. It looks like something you'd see at a Halloween supply shop. Except, it's real. No, it's still a statue. I think it's a troll. 
Huh. Well, I'm a bit lost. It seems like Okay, let's go. I'm gonna before I'll probably be ending soon, but let's just see if there's any empty Hello. wases around. Hey. Hey. Welcome. No? She's sad when let's look at him again. I have just the place for these. Yes, she has just the place for these. Maybe I'm reading too much into that. Let's try going up to our room. And this will probably be the last thing I do. I think the videos are a little bit shorter this uh, today than usual. But I don't know. It's because I got a lot of progress done. <laughs> it's really weird that when I get a lot of progress, the video gets shorter. Well, that's because I don't spend a lot of time just doing nothing. Do I have an empty vase? <gasps> water pitcher. Can I put the flowers in the water pitcher? Glass. I don't need a drink right now. No, are you sure? I don't need a drink. In the glass, maybe? <gasps> it's a really short glass. Yay! We placed the flowers! Hooray! Wait, why am I still holding them in my hand? That's kind of weird. I still have the flowers, even though I just put them in there. Maybe I just took some of them. Anyway! Uh, let's just face... Sam! Sam! Face the camera, please. Thank you. Uh, and look look at the camera. Don't look at... The, oh. Oh! Huh? She's looking where I'm having my my thingy. My uh, uh, curse, I mean. Anyway! Hi. Uh, I'll see you next time for more uh, Grey Matter. This is a really fun game. I hope uh, you, the audience, are enjoying it as well. The, the, the series hasn't really gotten that many views. Well, at least not when I'm recording this. It might have gotten more since. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'll see you next Saturday for more Grey Matter. And I'll see you tomorrow for more gaming. Bye.